over the last few episodes, I've been showing on how you can repair your vehicle's AC system at home. So how to check and add new refrigerant, how to check the AC compressor clutch, and today this is an evaporator temperature sensor. When these start to go, typically you may have cool air, then warm air, and it bounces back and forth. So I'll describe what this does in greater detail in the description box below if you're curious, but today this is just how to locate it, remove it, and test it. Now right below the glove box, we have a plastic cover that we need to remove. Now typically these are held on by clips. So gently pull down and then remove. So I did a quick web search just to see where this sensor lives and this is the harness connector for it. Now to get access to it, right here is a transistor. I just need to remove this. So harness connector pressing down and then two fasteners. Okay, this is a transistor. And if you're not sure where the sensor lives on your vehicle, you've done some searching, you just don't know. The next thing you could do is just look up the part, see what it looks like, and then try to find that part under the dash. Okay. Now on the back of the harness connector is a little mount. And to get this off, a very long and thin pair of pliers just to show you, and you just squeeze, okay? And then we have one fastener right there. Okay, here is the sensor. Now to test the sensor, we need a digital multimeter. As always, I'll list all of the tools in the description box below. Now on the multimeter, I have it set to the ohms or resistance setting. Now here I have a bowl of ice water. As you can see, you want it essentially colder than the outside air, and you'll see why in a moment. On the end of the sensor, we have a harness connector with two prongs. So I'm taking the leads from the meter and hooking them up directly to the sensor, okay? And you should see a resistance reading. If you don't, then the sensor is bad. That's simple. So we have a reading, which is a good sign. That's a very good sign. If you don't see a reading here, the sensor is bad. Right off the bat, you're done. But if you do see a reading, you want to see and verify that it changes once you dip the sensor in the cold water. Now this resistance should go up. And it does. Now once I remove it, from the cold water, the resistance should decrease. And it does. So this is a working sensor. This is how you can quickly test the sensor at home. Save yourself a bundle of money. And that's all it takes to test and if you need to replace this sensor. Now if this turns out to be okay and you want to check the refrigerant level, the AC clutch and some other things, I will include a playlist in the description box below for AC help. Check it out, chances are you can pinpoint where the problem is. And as always, thank you for watching.